Welcome, I'm Joan Worley, and this is the TV Stretch and Flex class. We're gonna learn how to stretch properly together, and we're also gonna learn how to reduce stress by using our breath and letting go. I have three talented individuals to help us today. We have Manuel, Kathy, and Vu. All right, let's take a comfortable place on the floor and get started. What you might want to do is if you have shoes, you might want to take them off or leave them on. Want to have comfortable clothes so when you take a breath, you're not restricted by having a belt around you. All right, let's sit up nice and tall. And tall means your ear, shoulder, and hip all in alignment. Let me show you on the side. Sitting up tall would mean that you could see, if you took a ruler, you could see the ear, shoulder, and hip in alignment. We don't want you to sit back because you can hurt your lower back. We don't want you to sit forward or push your chin forward. We want to have a nice, comfortable, straight line as we're sitting. All right, so see if you can find that position. And if you have someone with you, have them look and see if you're sitting up nice and tall. All right, what we're gonna do is try and focus our energy to right now and not think about all those things that are on our mind that we have to do or we did or should have done. We're gonna take a deep breath in. As you take a deep breath in, you wanna expand your belly and then exhale, tuck your belly in and is as if your belly button is gonna to touch your spine. The easiest way to find out if we're doing that right is you take your hands, put them on your belly, spread your fingers out. Take a breath in. As you breathe in, expand your belly out. Your hand should move forward. And as you exhale very slowly, bring that belly button into your spine. Let's do it again. Deep breath in, nice and slow. That's it. And exhale and bring that belly button in. Nice. Now let's try it again. Deep breath in. Exhale, bring that belly button in. Now the three behind me are gonna keep working on the breath and they're gonna have different tempos. One might be able to take a longer breath as they expand the belly. The other one might be a little bit shorter, but you wanna focus your energy in. Now while you're doing the breath, nice and slow, you can close your eyes, which helps you focus in on what you're doing. And while you breathe, it's very hard, but some people to breathe very shallowly and they breathe up here. So try and keep your shoulders nice and level and just get that belly expanding. Exhale and bring that belly in. Nice. One more time, breathe in. And exhale, excellent. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our overhead stretch. Let's get comfortable. You can wiggle a little bit. Be sure your tailbone, sit bones are planted on the ground evenly. You don't want to be lifting one side or the other, so try and scoot in and ground yourself to the ground. We're going to take our hands and watch this first. You're going to take your hands, stretch them over your head, nice and slow as if you're going through molasses. Stretch, and when you get to the top, go even farther so you feel the stretch at your waist, through your rib cage, up at your shoulders, your back and stretching with your fingers, and then very slowly let your arms go down. Now if you notice, Manuel will do it slightly different because of slight limitation, and he is adjusting so he gets the most out of the stretch. All right, let's try that all together. Take a deep breath in, take your arms up nice and slow. Take your time. Take your time stretching higher, higher, and then stretch as high as you can. Feel your waist stretch, your rib cages, all the way through your shoulder, your back. Feel that stretch, stretch those hands as far as you can and very slowly relax. Now when we relax, the next time I want you to go and let all that stress out at the same time. Let's try it, deep breath in, stretch up. Nice and slow, bring in your waist, your ribs, your shoulders, your back, stretch as high as you can. Now we're gonna let that exhale Release this tension and exhale. Excellent. Again, deep breath in, nice and slow. Feel the stretch through your waist, then your rib cage. Your back is in play, your shoulders stretch. Feel those fingers going as high as you can. Deep exhale. That's the key. 
As we stretch, each time we exhale, we want to just focus on the muscles that you're working and not the ones that uh, you used during work or you had to do this, that, or the other during the day. You want to just focus in on what we're doing. All right, what we're going to do is work on the top of our neck, down our spine slightly, and it is the neck forward. We'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll have you all do it together. You're going to take a deep breath in, still sitting up nice and tall, ear, shoulder, hip in line, belly slightly tucked. You're going to exhale, tuck your chin, and let it go nice and slow. Don't flop it down. You want to control it. When you get as far as you think you can, you can turn your head side to side, and then let it relax again, and see if you can tuck your chin closer to your chest as you do so. You're going to go to easy breathing, and at that point, still keeping the shoulders and hips in line. And slowly, as slow as you can, you're gonna bring your neck up and then the head will be the last thing. Great. Now one more thing we're gonna add, while your head's down, let's say you don't feel the stretch whatsoever. So while my head is down, I'm gonna take my hands and rest them on my head. I'm not gonna pull down, but just the weight of my arms will extend that stretch farther down my spine. If it's too intense, you just take your hands off and don't do it until a couple more times when you feel that you've stretched enough and you warrant that stretch. Okay, let's try it. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lower your chin nice and slow. Take your time. Focus in on what you're doing. Turn your head side to side and then let your head droop. Go to easy breathing. If you feel any tension in your neck, in your upper back, try and relax each time you exhale. Take your time, relax. And very slowly, tuck your chin, roll up through your neck, and then your head. Excellent. Let's do it again. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, tuck your chin nice and slow. Take your time. This is the only time you'll ever be able to stop and relax. For those that need an extra stretch, try placing your wrists or your hands on your head. But again, don't pull down. Just let them bring you down with the weight of the arms. And that extends the stretch a little farther down your neck. If you have your hands on your neck or the top of your head, let them go. And then very slowly roll up. Excellent. One more time. Check, are you sitting nice and square? Your back straight, take a deep breath in. And as slow as you can, exhale and lower your head. Chin tucked. If you need to turn your head side to side, do so. And then let your head be heavy. You might want to round your shoulders this slightly forward, see if you can get your chin closer to your chest. And for those that want to, bring your hands up and rest them on your head. Easy breathing. Focus in on what you're doing. Be in the present moment. If your hands are on your head, let them go. And very slowly roll one vertebra at a time as you come on up. Excellent. Let's go to the next stretch. It is going to be the half circles. We're going to turn our head to the side. You're going to take a breath in. Pretend you have a piece of chalk on your chin. And you're going to draw a circle on your chest. So as you exhale, you slowly draw that chin across your chest. Take your time. Go up to the other shoulder. You'll take a deep breath in at this side. And exhale and circle down across your chest. OK. And if you notice, we all go at a different tempo. And that's what I want you to do. Work at your space. Now, let's say you have a neck and there's a part that just hurts. So I'm circling down here and all of a sudden I feel this tension here and it's because I've worked on the computer, I've played baseball, I've done something where I've created some tension. I'm gonna stop my half circle, take a breath in, try and exhale and relax, focusing on this area, trying to feel I can elongate the muscles. And will I feel like I have stretched enough, I'll continue my circle to the other side. That is how you work on your individual flexibility and stress levels. All right, let's start all together. Head to the side. We're all going to start taking a deep breath in. 
As you exhale, circle your head down. Slowly, go as slow as you can. If you find a spot that's tight, work that area. And then you come back up to the other shoulder. Take a breath in. Exhale again, circle around. Take your time. Focus in on what we're doing. Keep your mind present. And at your own pace, go right ahead. Taking a breath in at your shoulder, exhaling as you circle around. As you do so, check to be sure you're sitting nice and tall, shoulder and hip in alignment. If you want to, close your eyes and see if you can relax and stay right with the stretch. Take your time. And let's do one more to the other side. Take your time. And back to center when you're done. Excellent. Next, we're gonna do the shoulder hugs. Take your hand on one shoulder, then the other. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower your shoulders and bring your elbows out towards your front. Stretching, so I want my shoulders down, I don't want them up on my ears. And then you release. All right, let's try that again. Hands crossing over, same side, one arm on top, the other one down below. Velcro your hands, and now that we've done it once, you might be able to get your hands a little bit farther around. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lower the shoulders and bring those elbows out as far as you can. That's it, hold it. Try not to hold your breath though. Keep that stretch, feel the back stretching. Feel that nice stretch in your back, and release. Great, let's go to the other side. If you can, you take the opposite hand up on top, other one down below. If you notice, Manuel will always do the same side, and that's what he needs to do to get the full stretch for himself. All right, let's Velcro our hands on our shoulders. Deep breath in. Take an exhale. Lower your shoulders, bring the elbows out, and keep that stretch going, but keep breathing nice and easy. Press that back, feel the stretch, feel the stretch. Nice, and relax, and lower the arms. We're gonna do it again. Arms on your shoulders, or farther back if you can. Deep breath in, exhale, bring those shoulders down, and stretch as far as you can. Keep the stretch going. Try and relax as you do this. I'm relaxing my shoulders even more and stretching farther. Good. And lower your arms, excellent. All right, the next stretch we're gonna do is a forward straddle stretch. So you can take one leg in front, the other one's gonna be bent. I'm gonna turn sideways to show a couple things to you while you're doing it, and they'll face you straight away. We have, the leg is coming straight out from my hip, the other leg is bent, and I don't wanna put my foot on top or underneath the leg, I just want it to cozy up to the side of my knee. I'm gonna put my hands behind my back because that's gonna allow me to press this leg down even farther. You wanna hold that position, then we're gonna sit up nice and tall, which is tough because your leg wants to come up. So as you're coming up, you're exhaling, trying to relax, keep that leg relaxed. And then you're gonna sit up nice and tall. Now remember the ear, shoulder, and hip. What we wanna do is you have that straight line again, and you're gonna lean forward as if you can't round your back. Lean forward, your hands are gonna be rested right here, or on your thighs, whichever is more comfortable. You take a breath in and keep leaning forward with that flat back, pretending that my hands are right below your waist and they're pressing you farther forward. Now, some of you are really tight and you're only gonna be able to go here. Others can go farther forward. You do what you can. So we're here for a long time. Then you're gonna take a deep breath in. You're gonna exhale, tuck your chin, round your back and stretch the hands farther forward. You're gonna get a different stretch at that point. Now, if you're stretching up like this, your shoulders are too high and you're putting pressure here, we wanna relax the shoulders and stretch forward. Now, some people might only be able to go here, that's okay. You want to, each time you exhale, go either farther or relax your thighs or wherever you're holding tight. And the, for those that are advanced, can try and stretch forward in the rounded it position and try and put their hands at the bottom of their feet. All right, let's try that. All right, sitting up nice and tall. 
tiptoes, want to be straight up. If this is not enough of a stretch for you, bring that foot back even farther. All right, hands behind your back to start with. Press that leg down. Sit up nice and tall. Try and keep it right where you have it. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lean forward with that flat back. Close your eyes if you'd like to and see if you can focus on the stretch. Now there'll be different places that are tight. Someone might feel at the back of their leg, in their thigh, in their back. You want to close your eyes and as you exhale, relax. Try and relax those areas so you can get the most out of the stretch. Might want to move your shoulders up and down and then let them go. That's it. Deep breath in. Exhale. Keep relaxing. All right, now we're going to round our back. Take a breath in. Exhale, tuck your chin, round your back. Continue to go forward if you can. Sneaking those fingers farther forward. Each time you exhale, you relax. Chin is tucked. Keep working the stretch, using your breath, focusing on the stretch. Keep your mind present. Keep relaxing. If you can stretch your hands a little farther each time you exhale, keep working the stretch. Continue to stretch and relax. Now as slow as you can, we're going to roll our back up, starting at the lowest vertebrae you can, and roll up nice and slow as if you're going through that molasses. Take your time, take your time, take your time, and then your head comes up the last thing. Great. Let's do it again. Same side. You might get a cramp. If you're not used to this stuff, you might have to straighten your leg out. That's okay. You need to take your hand and bring that leg back. It's all right. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Lean forward. Relax. That's it. Flat back. Pretend I'm pushing you from your waist down. Keep working that stretch. Let's say your belly's in the way and it's not comfortable. If you move your leg out a little bit, it's okay. You're still gonna get pretty much the same stretch. Keep stretching and relaxing. Take your time. Close your eyes. Focus on the stretch. Keep working the stretch. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, tuck your chin, round your back, and see if you can go a little bit farther forward. Keeping the shoulders down. You can wiggle at your waist. Make sure you're not holding it tight. Say your straight leg, the thigh seems to be tight. Shake it out a little bit, it's okay. Keep working the stretch. And head and chin down, back rounded. Keep working towards the bottom of your foot, but the shoulders need to be relaxed. Focus in on the stretch. Leave all the pressures and stress away. Just work on your body. As slow as you can, roll up from the bottom of your spine. Take your time, take your time. There's no rush, there's no right time. Bring your neck up and head. Good. Let's go to the other side. Now your leg might be stiff from there. You can go ahead, use your hand, pull that leg out, and bring the other one in. It's okay, it's your stretch. It's what you're gonna get out of it. So try and enjoy it. All right, let's take our hands behind. Everybody ready? Press that leg down and sit up nice and tall. Take a breath in. Exhale, lean forward. Take your time. Take your time. You might feel another spot that's tight. You take your breath, use your breath. As you exhale, try and focus on that area and let it go. Let it go. That's it, great. Remember, I've got my hands pressing from your waist down, trying to lean forward with that flat back. Good job. Try not to hold your breath, use your breath. Close your eyes, see if you can relax and focus on the stretch. That's it, take your time. Keep relaxing, releasing, letting the tension go. Keep going farther and farther forward. Check your shoulders, are they relaxed? Nice. Take a deep breath in. As you do so, tuck your chin, exhale, Round your back and continue those hands farther forward. Turn your head side to side. Let it go. You might wiggle at your waist or shake that leg that's straight. Take your time. Relax. Focus in on the stretch. Let all your worries and stress go as you continue to stretch. 
Use your breath. Continue to stretch farther forward or release more tension each time you exhale. Now hold it for a little bit longer. And as slow as you can, slowly roll up from your lower vertebra all the way up. Take your time. Pretend you're going through something very thick. Take your time. Then your neck comes up and your head for the last time. Good. We're going to repeat this one more time. Now if you need to wiggle, take a stretch one way or the other, that's okay. Get ready. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lean forward, nice and easy. Take your time, flat back. Might wanna shake your leg. If you're not getting enough stretch with this straight leg, bring your toe back up towards you. And if that's too much, bring it back down. Keep working. Exhale slowly, relaxing. Continue to relax. Shoulders are pressed down, chest is open, you're breathing nice and slow. That's it, good. Keep going. Keep working the stretch. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, tuck your chin, round your back, continue to stretch forward. Use your breath, nice and slow, close your eyes. See if you can focus on the areas that are tight and try and release them. Each time you exhale, work the stretch using your breath. Take your time. It's like you're melting into a stretch. Continue to stretch farther forward or release more of the tension in the areas that you're tight. Continue to stretch, relax. Hold that stretch. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Now hold it just a little bit longer. Relax. And very, very slowly from your lower back, roll up. Continue to roll up. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Last thing would be your neck and then your head. Excellent. We have one more moment. Let's go to our overhead stretch one more time. So we're gonna bring our legs back in. Hands are on our side and we're gonna stretch up as high as we can, taking a deep breath. Ready? Breathe in and stretch up. Feel that stretch at your waist. Take your time, stretch as high as you can, stretch. Feel it at your waist, your chest, your rib cage, your shoulders, and as slow as you can, release. Let's do it again. Take a deep breath in and stretch up. Slow as you can, stretch, stretch, stretch. Feel it at your waist, then your rib cage, your shoulders, your back. Stretching those hands even higher, higher, higher. And exhale and release. One more time. Deep breath in and stretch, lift up, you've got it. Feel that stretch, feel it, and release, great. Now it's time for our relaxation. What I'd like you to remember is the stretches should be done daily, at work. If you're stopped in traffic in the car, you might wanna do, don't do uh, head circles, it might get you in trouble, but you might wanna do some shoulder hugs where you're stretching and releasing the tension so that you don't run somebody over, they don't run you over. You take care, we have a short little relaxation, get comfortable on your back, and then when we're done, you'll roll over to your side, take a few moments, and then you'll slowly get up at your own pace. Thanks for being with us today, I'll see you next time. This is your time to relax. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, relax. Keep your mind clear. Your eyes are closed, your face is relaxed. Visualize yourself walking, jogging, skipping, moving, feeling healthy, 
is you've picked a healthy lifestyle. You take care of yourself. You're vibrant. You've got energy. You see yourself walking down the street and people admire you. They're looking, what is it? And it's your healthy lifestyle. It's that extra energy you have. It's taking care of yourself. You see yourself working out, whether it's taking walks, climbing mountains, going to a gym. And they admire you, those around you. You're committed. You see yourself going through a program, and you are going back every day. You have the natural high for feeling healthy, living each day to your fullest. Take another peek as you walk down the road. The energy in your step, healthy glow in your face, and a will to live healthily. You are in control. You set your standards and you set them high. Settle down, slowly roll over on your side. Stay there for a moment, visualizing yourself being healthy and moving. And when you're ready, take your top hand, press against the mat, slowly sitting up, realizing that you can lead a healthy lifestyle.